murder for his death. This comes after Keontae Holzendorf was found dead in a West Houston hotel Tuesday night. His mother and her common law husband now are facing charges in connection with his death. Bill Spencer is live at that hotel where the child was found with more on the grandparents' plea for answers and for justice. Bill. Yes, Keith, this is a family that is just agonizing today over the death of this little boy, just eight years old. He was found unconscious in the bathtub in one of the rooms here at this hotel. His own mother claiming that he had drowned inside that bathtub. That's something investigators are taking a very hard look at, given all the evidence in this case. Now his grandparents are here as well, trying to get answers. Some because we know right now we are truly walking through the valley of the shadow of death. They are four grandparents living a nightmare right now and searching for answers into how their grandchild, eight year old Keontae Holzendorf, really died. On March 23rd, police were called to this Quality Inn hotel off the Sam Houston Parkway on reports that little Keontae had drowned inside the bathtub in room 214. I immediately thought like it was something else behind it. Ain't no, ain't no way an uh, A.O. can just drown himself in a tub. Now the little boy's mother, Kayla Hosendorf, and her boyfriend, Dominique Lewis, are both facing charges of injury to a child and tampering with evidence. And there could be additional charges coming pending the outcome of the official autopsy. As far as their story about the little boy drowning goes, Kayla's own mother and father don't believe that story. They believe their daughter is lying. Do you think that Kayla and Dominique are responsible for this little boy's death, and what do you want to have happen to them? Yes, I do think they're responsible, and I just want justice for Keontae. We know that God has prepared a better place for Keontae, and he's in a better place. He's growing up in a place now where he don't have to worry about being mistreated, abused. The grandparents of that beautiful little boy. And I've got to tell you that prosecutors have evidence right now they're looking very closely at. Evidence that this little boy uh, may have been tortured with duct tape. They found scraps of torn duct tape with human hair on them inside that hotel room. They also found handcuffs indicating that the child may have been bound and tortured. Reporting live, this is Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. It's just hard to listen to, Bill. Thank you.